We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna make no, that a tradition every single no, time. No, that's that's what, first of all, that's just something. Honestly, Sam that's kind of hacky to do it twice. Nah, it's only something Sam Buck's allowed to do now. That's his thing now. He get to smack the shit out of people. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. Sam, if Sam Buck's that's thing just became smacking the shit out of people that's on his podcast, Sam Buck is Sam our Buck. enforcer somehow. Yeah. Doped up and dying. That's the world we live in. Where Sam Buck is our bouncer. Is the is the bouncer of the room of like doped up and dying? Doped up and dying. You walk up, you just see Sam's stupid face. Sam's fucking stupid fucking face. <laughs> just smacking the shit out of people. We love Sam Buck. Yo, shout out to our guest right here, Josh Pallet, the Josh, one and only, the one and only Josh Pallet. Really, the one and only, the, the dude that rips crowds, and I mean by rips crowds, I mean people that are stupid. Oh, geez. <laughs> what does that even mean? Why are you dissing our guest already? Jesus I never Christ. said he dissed him. I said he he you he rips rip people. Stu- he rips stupid people. Oh, uh, that's a diss. You yeah. want to rips? No, you rip. You, stupid you mean people. you mean to say he rips them stupid, right? What? Like he I, rips so hard they no, become stupid. No, but I stupid. like that. That's more like yeah. methodic. Do I, I like hit it. Dylan now? <laughs> you gotta listen. Honestly, it might now. It might be a Sam Buck Josh Pallet thing. Do I gotta wait for him to slap my my? You thighs? gotta wait for him to slap your thigh. Twice. twice. Go ahead. Twice. Go for it, bro. Twice. Twice. The first one's free. The first one's free. No, I twice. don't want to hit you. You're a really nice kid. I don't like when anybody touches or hits Dylan. He's a nice kid. He he just ate a crustable. <laughs> that was a good. <laughs> yeah, I, let me tell you something. We go. We we're here at um too much content studios mm. with the great Mr. Irish and Miss Ani. Uh, I don't know your last name, Ani. I just realized that Moosh. shit. Moosh? Yeah. Ani with the great Ani Moosh. And then her friends, Laura and Ben. Why does Moosh the, sound like a euthanism for sex? Is it Laura? Uh, Moosh does sound like a euphemism for sex. Yeah, we're going to yeah. fucking Moosh tonight. We're going to yeah. Moosh tonight? <laughs> oh, you know Ani? Yeah, me and going to Moosh. Oh. Wow. How is so, that not so, a t-shirt? So, uh, because she's not on mic. She's not on mic, so no one heard that shit. Oh, but yeah. uh, she just said the reason why she's with Irish, Mr. Irish, is because he walked up to her and he was like, Yo, I want to smoosh the your moosh. Yeah. I want to smoosh that moosh. Get over here. Does, Get he, over does here. he smoosh the moosh really often? Yeah, this morning. Oh. This morning? Wow. Keep, uh, keep doing your thing, Mr. Man. Irish, killing, killing the game out here. Smooshing man. it. Number one producer in the game out here. This is Doped Up and Dying, the sm- Sunday morning, morning smoosh show. Oh, sorry. Show. sorry. It I, up. Got, I got sidetracked. Um... That Uncrustable was fire, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, my man Dylan walked in here like a kid right after school, 3 p.m. He's like, hey, Ma, you got some Uncrustables ready for me and some milk? What voice is that? <laughs> is that that's, my voice? Uh, that's... If there was a crust on it, how bad would your day have been? <laughs> Honestly, I'm fine with crust, but I definitely was more happy it was an Uncrustable. Like, that, you feel that... like you're loved. Hey, yo, we got to give credit where credit is due because it was that's, a not, that's a homemade yeah, Uncrustable. Yeah, that was a homemade yeah. Uncrustable. That was an Anna Smoosh original. <laughs> <laughs> she, she pinched it together with her fingers. Oh. Like no, that's sides. kind of not good for the current environment. <laughs> 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 she wants to make sure you're COVID-free since 2021. Jesus, that didn't rhyme at all. Yeah, that was awful. That I was liked awful. It. <laughs> Josh, how you been? I, I've been great. You know what my mom tells me yesterday? <laughs> so she's watching a documentary. How, what did my mom say? Well, that would be your great grandma. Oh, my grandma. <laughs> Fuck. I was almost there. I'm your dad, Dylan. Yes. Don't forget. <laughs> Sorry. My mother goes to me. She goes, you know, I watched this thing about comedy and intelligence, and they said that in a child, if they start making wordplay and doing puns, it's a sign of high intelligence. And she told me when you were five years old, you stuck a straw in a Coca-Cola and put the straw up your nose and said, I'm sniffing Coke. <laughs> <laughs> this is what my mother tells me. <laughs> Way to cut it off, nip it at the bud, ma. You know, you ha- and then she tells me, she's like, oh, I had a big discussion with you about drugs after that. I don't know what the hell she said, but it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it didn't work, ma. Well, she, uh, I remember this story. Your mom was saying some wild shit about... Uh, My father. Your father. Yeah. daddy yo. Yeah. yeah. She's well, like, uh, my mom was white. She was like the type. She was like, if you just smoke weed, do it at my house. I want you to be safe. That's um. Yeah, Go she's always backyard. saying that shit all the time. She just wanted to get you out of the room so we could be alone. <laughs> <laughs> so you can smoosh. So you can smoosh, can smoosh that smoosh up. right there. You know? <laughs> Fucking, uh, we had Josh Pilot on before. Mm. We did. We did have Josh Pilot it's on before. It's a lost before, episode. And right? it's a lost episode. It's a lost tape. What did we watch? Thankfully for we, me. Did we watch it. Well, you, I mean. You lived a wild life, my I friend. I lived a wild And I had to extract that well, out Well, people of don't understand, like, to, to stay with the whole TV and, like, old school theme, we do record on VHS tapes. Right. Oh, yeah? And we absolutely right. don't know where that fucking tape right. is. Yeah. It's gone. Right. Don't well, know. It's like, it's, like, it's like Kazam. 
Like, it, it, did Sinbad really film it? That's a deep meta joke for the people. No, that no, know no. That. Sinbad filmed that shit, and I remember. That's not it a was real on movie. TNT. Nah, bro. Every Saturday, you're racist, and you saw Shaq and thought he was light skinned Your TV wow. did. Your TV couldn't. Your TV wasn't good enough to resolute the color, so you thought Shaq was light skinned Thought it was Sinbad. I don't like that you were insinuating how poor I was, my my friend. I don't how do you know? I've talked to you before. We were friends. We've had conversations. Listen, why you gotta tell people my? Wow, he said he's your friend. So he he's bro. Friend. <laughs> how you gonna blow up his spot? <laughs> <laughs> We're friends. We're chill, friends, chill. Bring man. it down. Chill We're not out, friends. Dylan. Strictly professional. Fucking. Uh, I, I do want to say though, when I when I mean by earlier when I said uh, like you rip stupid people, I love one thing about Josh. You understand? Josh's energy on stage unmatched. It's one of, uh, we've talked about it. It's unmatched. Yeah, yeah I like. Please it, tell me more. Uh, actually, now I don't want to. <laughs> uh, we did a uh, we did a show on Staten Island last night. Oh, that was great. Oh, bro, that was great. You posted something. <laughs> I wrote what comma a show. <laughs> yeah, you put, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that was uh, special. I, I almost texted Kevin like, "Yo, so how'd it go?" And then I let your let your post simmer a little bit. Listen, we were sitting. I was looking at Kevin. What happened? What happened? Tell me the story. Here's the thing. Let me tell you something. What happened? If so you everyone told me yesterday, if everyone did well last night. No one. Boo! Yeah, it wouldn't have been. It would have been. Ha- it would have been. Mem- it would have been memorable. So Kevin comes up to me yesterday and goes, uh, uh, "Man, I got yeah, I got a show in Staten Island. This dude, I wasn't gonna go. Josh said he didn't want to go, but then the guy was like, listen, 'Listen, I'll pay for you, both and both. I'll pay for you to come, and I'll pay for the ride there and back.' Yeah, and drinks, and drinks, and food. I'll take yeah. care of you when you're there. Except Don't- Kevin was an idiot and paid for his own drink. <laughs> Why? I don't so know. They charged happened? him for being Dominican at the bar. <laughs> So what well, happened not, when you guys got there? Oh well, I think, well, was the show good? Well, it, is it was I cold. Think. So it was supposed to be an outside show, okay. right? And uh, I don't read flyers, you know. <laughs> like you just booked me on a show. I'm assuming you know what's going on, right? And Josh said, "Kev, you should do this with me." So I said, "I'll do it with him." And this I motherfucker know. never told me. We should give Kevin more things to sign. He's just not reading. Yeah, yeah I just <laughs> just hand shit, just hand shit to Kevin. Like, hey, Kevin, I'll sign. I'll, sign I'll, this is for doped up and dying. Uh, we're going. We're going national. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I seen Facebook, but but I'm, I seen the, I seen social network. But um, I got you. We're out there, and Josh tells me, "Can we, can we put the fucking phones on?" I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, he goes, uh, "It's an outside show." As we uh-huh. in the cab to get there. And I, I'm like, dude, it's like 40 degrees right now. And listen, it was like 65 degrees. No, it was wasn't. just windy. It was anyway, windy. we got there. It was raining. It's a there were fucking... tornado clouds. There was a tor- there was a funnel cloud. Where's that I... fucking remote, dude? I want to throw it at his face. Where, where are we going? Okay, it's cold. I get it. I know how cold it is. Cold is cold. You know what's pr- you know Dylan. What's interesting is you Do don't I slap know how, him now. Yeah, you should slap him. Now. <laughs> you don't know how to tell a story. Oh, and now I don't know how to listen to one either. Me. Apparently, well, yeah. he knows how to destroy a story. Yeah, he knows how to destroy <laughs> one. He knows how to take it to a screeching halt. The bottom line was we were in fucking Staten no, Island to yes, begin yeah, with. Okay, so okay. Yeah, so walking. Okay. And then an outdoor show became an indoor show, and the indoor show was is at it an a Ita- bar. It was an Italian restaurant. They had this beautiful outdoor area. If it was a nice outside, but you know, because it was too cold, started raining. They decided to throw the show. Onto the diners inside of the restaurant. Here, throw it. The fucking disrespect. (laughs) Are you looking for what the fuck just happened? (laughs) He was telling a story and you interrupted him. Let him do what he does. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck just happened on my show? All right, I'm joking. Um, keep going. Yeah. So they threw the the outdoor show into the inside, and uh, these people were there to have dinner. Not to have a bunch of fucking shitty comics. So the people that there's people that came to the comedy show that were sitting outside. Yes. Correct or no? Yes. Correct. Uh, yeah, they moved some people back inside. They were. F- yeah, they moved some people back inside. So it's an Italian restaurant and people inside just enjoying. But it's dinner. not just an. Ita- it's like an Italian restaurant owned by like a father son. Uh, are right? we talking like a Buca di Becco, like an Olive Garden? Like, it's not an Olive Garden. It's one of those like if you ever get chased by the. Those cops, are my only levels for Italian restaurants, by the way. That's the only two I can. Name. It's one of those it's Buki, La Becco, and Olive Garden. Which one's shittier than the other? I do not know. It's Staten Island. It's going to be the shittiest. Okay. Okay. We were in Staten Island. That's so why now, I was so looking at Kevin. So now, you're, te- so now you're telling jokes to old, like, uh, not old people, but like. Kevin was, Kevin's looking goes? at me while we're sitting there like, what the fuck did you take me to? This is ridiculous. <laughs> and I looked at him like, dude, this is fucking hilarious, bro. This is fucking hilarious. Oh, so you're one of so, those guys that gets themselves into yeah, a sticky situation. Yeah, I didn't get myself like, into it. I'm there. No, I, no, if it's, it's going to be comical, I might as well live it and fucking laugh. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, when the, he, dude, the host went up. The dude, bro, they set the mic up, 
the host went up to a table of women and just started berating them about eating salads. <laughs> berating them. He's like, what are you eating there, a salad? You're just like my wife who I'm in counseling for beating up. <laughs> He's like, you know what that's like. You look like you've been, you've been beaten by a man I, before. I, I'm I, like, I, yeah, I love new comic crowd work. Yo, bro. And new was... comic crowd work is the best. Yeah, listen, it was top-notch stuff. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm happy we went. I enjoyed the How night. was your guys' set? That's all I want to know. Kevin came out swinging. Be- Ke- Kevin did better than I did. I think. Kevin came out swinging. I mean, you he know really what? He really did. He got him for like a, a good like five minutes. Okay. I mean, but it was like one of those things. It was like uh, it was like having dinner with the Staten wives of Staten Island. You know, it, it was just like that. And we're just interrupting. And, you know, it's women that, like, disrespect their husbands on the, on every chance they get, you know? Like, uh, there was <laughs> this lady, I'm doing this whatever bit, and, and I'm, I'm trying to get everybody's attention. And I'm like, uh... You should and, do what I did in D.C. And just start uh, saying... What? What did you do in DC? I forget. I just ruined it. I just, <laughs> just ruined the set. Just, just flame everyone. Just for uh, so the reference, I was in DC and there was just half the crowd talking. And I was like, I'm not gonna do jokes until half the sh- crowd shut up, and they never shut up. No, I don't. No. I don't. I don't. And then, and then Kevin told me after the show, you don't have that kind of weight. Do your <laughs> jokes. <laughs> it was, it was interesting though. And I called some lady up with me. Right? What? I called some lady. To what? <laughs> yeah, he pulled like an old Italian lady up. <laughs> what? Yeah, I did. What? He He's like, get up here. <laughs> you look like an old Italian, bro. Stop doing crowd work in the Italian <laughs> restaurant. No, they wanted it. They did they want wanted it. it. They wanted but they were it. very fickle. The Parmesan came out. And I want to drop of just Kevin repeating, they wanted it. They wanted it. <laughs> they wanted it. <laughs> Kevin did great. I was very Every proud. time I get a text, oh, I just want that, They wanted no. it. They wanted it. The, the, uh, what have you been up to? Um, that's a, that's, a, that's a loaded question. That's so, why is it a loaded question? What did you do last night, Dylan? Other than touch yourself? Uh, what was last night? Yesterday was a uh, Friday. I had a show. I did Janice's show. Oh, how was Janice's show? Actually, pretty good. I went up early. Max was there. I don't know if you're a reference for anyone, but uh, it was alright. It was a good show. What do you mean, comedy? Um, okay. I don't know. I'm trying to get better at. Did, you know, did anybody from crowd. the audience threaten your life this time? Uh, no, not this time. Not this Dylan, time. Did a, Dylan did a Dylan did a joke on DMX, and uh, <laughs> yeah, when he got off the stage, I posted that. I posted. It. Somebody oh, came over and he was like, "Hey, man, you can see the joke on my page. We can talk about X, man. I'll make a couple one. phone calls. You can dead man, Dylan. He, he, that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what, he what he said. And then and then I go, what? And he goes, just just be him. I go, what? And he goes, yeah, man, a couple phone calls. That's yeah, it. Okay. And then he just walks out, and we're just standing there, and like the the you know the producer comes up and she's like, you know, there's no... Dylan was like, y'all gonna make me call 911 <laughs> up in here, up in here. I'm gonna go to call, call my cops up, up in here, here, up in here. If I gotta call the police on you, then I'm gonna do it quick. <laughs> if Dylan goes to jail, he gonna suck, suck some dick. <laughs> Not done. I like it. Um, that's a hit. I had, uh, this, my homegirl calls me up the other day. And she's like, uh, you know when people call you ready to complain, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> right? Call you ready to fucking complain, and I'm not even at my bacon, egg, and cheese yet. You know, I'm ordering a bacon, egg, and cheese at the deli. I pick up this call because she's my home girl and I love her, right? So I'm picking up the call. I'm like, hey, bitch. That's how I talk to all my friends. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. How you doing? And then she's like. That is also how we talk to each other. Yeah, yeah. That's hey, just, bitch. Kevin I'm, calls his mom like that. <laughs> I call my mom. Like, He's like, hey, bitch, Merry Christmas. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin calls me Tato. I go, what's up, sweet potato? Yeah, yeah. So she's like, uh, she's like, I hate my job. I hate this. I hate that. And I'm like, hey, I know your life. Didn't you just get a new apartment? Didn't you just get a... You know how many people are not fucking working right now? Hey, let's, let's be grateful out here. Yeah, Kevin included. <laughs> <laughs> Last night was the first night at uh, like doing all these shows that a couple of my jokes had like laughs, but like the ones that usually <laughs> was, that, was that uncomfortable? Was like, <laughs> that was like, but also ooze with them, like That's, where like where they were like oh. laughter, but they were like ooh, like they was mean, and it was like and like I which joke it. was it? And um, um. When did you start doing jokes? Uh, <laughs> dude, I don't. I, I still don't do jokes. I do mostly crowd work. But um, no, it's um, I I I try to do a little bit of crowd work. But um, 
it's well what you what got the ooh what did you almost offend I'm people to, by i'm trying to think i have like a i have like a weed joke where i'm like i'm oh. like uh, i said on the podcast before but i'm like i'm just like oh thank you i was just like uh i was like all, all i said was um and i was like i was like listen weed's legal they cheer then i go listen i'm just sick of the same guy saying it weed's legal weed's legal i'm good i'm good i'm good and i'm like weed's legal weed's legal i'm like dude you're white weed's been legal your entire life laughs but also like oh that's kind mm. of insane i was like what like right. guys, we just uh, survived yeah. like a fucking pandemic. Right. Like we just survived. Why? You like, know what it is, Dylan? Not enough, enough people died. I agree. I agree. Not enough people died from COVID. From COVID, because no one. Yeah, because we're screwing it all up by making everyone stay home. Stay. What are you staying home for? You got to thin the herd out. This guy <laughs> agrees. Look, he's like, oh, my grandparents died, but thanks. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Yeah, he doesn't like his grandparents. Fuck that, man. They didn't agree. Uh, Me and yeah. Kevin are uh, asymptomatic. It's, you tell me <laughs> we're the angels of death of New York City. We're just going around <laughs> fucking coughing on people. Funny. It's awesome. Um, can you go to the link on my uh on like my new email that I sent, not the old one, because I replied. But I want to show you guys this video real quick before he pulls that up. Um, yeah, I mean, people I, are not grateful, bro. They aren't. They're not grateful, man. I'm like, it was weird because of, like crowd. I don't know if you guys. Have, Felt this, but I'm like, crowds have been cool. Crowds have been kind of chill. Yeah, people They're have been stuck in the house. They want to be entertained. They want to be out. It's it's a layup from the gate these days for a normal people crowd. They're out there. They want to have fun. They want to laugh. It's that- just weird to get ooze on like, not bad. Like, I've had worse. Right. And I mean, like, just in jokes in general. Were you <laughs> dropping n bombs after you said mm. the joke? I mean, that's only. only I mean, I know that's how, that's how you deliver. Bomb, that's that's how but by n bombs, he just has his last name, <laughs> Negri. <laughs> <laughs> Negri, please. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, all right. Speaking of a girl who um, bangs harder than anyone I've ever seen. Wait, what? Are we about to watch? You about to show some porn, Dylan? Yes. Oh, I want to see what you jerk off to. Mm-hmm. What? Make it big. That's what she said. I can't see anything. Oh, you know this. Oh. This one went. Yes. You know lunatic. lunatic? Uh-uh. Mm, oh, you I know guess lunatic, you don't bang then. Right. Yep, that's what happened. Oh, <laughs> ow, Kevin. Ah! Comedy. No, That's how quick B. shit can change. Can you superimpose Dylan Wait. getting slapped? Like, what's his <laughs> name? Five, my man, Sam Buck. Yeah. Yo, I'll be real. Hey, uh, yeah. Wait, play it again. Play it again. Play it again. I guess you. Hey, don't... so DMX died this past weekend. Um, uh, <laughs> joke, joke, joke. Uh, joke about yeah. DMX. Oh, you, you Dylan hey, Negri? Oh, Negri? you Dylan, huh? Nah, oh, Dylan, right? What's up, you, Dylan? You know, now nah, you don't know Dylan. DMX. Hey, Dylan. DMX. Hey, Dylan. Fuck DMX. X gon' give it to ya. Gon' give it to ya. X gon' give it to ya. That's how that went. Then he's oh, gonna exactly. call the yeah, cops quick. Right. Call the cops. Uh, <laughs> and then he actually, that dude came back in and apologized. Where my cops at? I was just like, yo, my bad, bro. And then I was like, yo, and then he was like, yo, I'm gonna come back every week and support you. I was like, please don't do that. <laughs> I was like, was that also a threat? Was that also? I'm gonna like, make yo, sure you never say that. I'm gonna be your number one time. fan, man. <laughs> yo, what, what if he came back next to you? He was like, yo, man, you should do really well tonight. Like, <laughs> I should open with the DMX <laughs> joke. Yo, that's funny. He invites you. You know what he's going to do? He's going to start his own show in his neighborhood. A DMX podcast? A, no, no, no. He's going to start <laughs> like a comedy show and invite and, and, and Oh, I'm headlining? Headline. Yeah. Mm. But then he's going to shoot And then they're going to the beat the shit out of you. Fuck you up. Uh, yo, uh, that would be, that'd be a crazy thing. Like, what if they actually have like, their friends do comedy? It's like a whole crowd. I get and then the, beat you yeah, up. Yeah, but there's like a whole production behind That's a dope it. show. Is there a minimum? <laughs> a drink minimum? I'm going. <laughs> I want to beat up Dylan. <laughs> Oh, oh my that's goodness, funny man. That should be your whole routine. You just, just go and beat? just like oh, get thanks. beat up by your audience. <laughs> 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 you can be comedy jackass for the first. Uh, be, oh, you can. You my go name is Dylan, and, and this joke sucks. That. You can go on tour with Steve O, man. This is going to be a good time. <laughs> nah, Steve O has me blocked on Instagram. He doesn't follow Oh, why did wow. he block you? What'd you say to Steve O, bro? You guys were fucking, right? <laughs> <laughs> you came on his face, but not his actual face, the face on his back. I think I've told this story before, so I'm going to tell it again, but I'm going to tell it quick. Okay. Uh, I he had a show in Orlando that I was um before I had my ticket to come out here I wanted to go see drove up to Orlando got there and he was like sitting by my table setting up his camera and just for the story in a sense so you understand his sister works at a high like a, a, a school I went to so I just I said I was like oh your sister was my high school history teacher right. and like I was like no he, well she, she I was like hey your sister was a history teacher at my school. And he goes, oh, you went to Harry, like the school? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked a little bit. Wait, this is in person. It's not on in Twitter person. or anything. Oh, shit, okay. His very next tour, in the beginning of the tour, now I'm in New York. Remember, I said, I was just about to get to New York, but mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to drive to Orlando. I lived in, like, like down south. He sees me in uh, Caroline's. I'm doing a bringer at Broadway. 
I see Steve-O. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go see him. Go see Steve-O at Caroline's. And then he does a little picture routine. And he saw me again. And I was just like, hey, man, that was a really good set. And I was just a normal person. Yeah. But I was just like, what is this? Oh, that's a crazy sound. Sorry. I got distracted. ADHD. Um, construction noise. So you're at Caroline's? I'm at Caroline's. And I just see him again. And I'm in the picture line. And this is where it gets weird. I just wanted to be like a person for a second. And just mm-hmm. be like, hey, man, that was a really good set. That's really cool. I remember I talked to you about, like, you know, I was going to do stand-up and shit. Like, I'm doing it. Da, da, da. Appreciate you, man. Can I open for you? Pretty much. <laughs> uh, but no, but that was, like, that was what I was wanting to say, right? I knew you wanted to say that. No, but I mean, like, all of that. Like, okay. In a sense oh, okay. That, okay. I what you're saying. I never got into there. What'd it was you like, say? Because he wants to take a picture, so it's, it's come say say hello to me. Hey, man. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> and then you're just like, um, and I was be like, no, I was like, hey, man, I don't want a picture. He's like, no, no, no take a picture, take a picture. I was like, hey, man, I really don't want a picture. I just, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. He's like, no, nah, man, take a picture. And then he keeps, like, photoing. And I was like, this is so weird. So why don't you just go with it? It felt weird, bro. I was like, I, I didn't you want to. You know what? To. Wait, wait, hold on. This was after a show? Yeah. And there's a lot of people on I the get line. it. I get No, I'm at the end. I'm, 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 so, so he's like, he just did, like, 200 people. Wanted to take a picture with him. Like 50, 75. Like 50, 75 yeah. people. It's Caroline. Right? Be real, right? Do you think he, he wanted to take the picture to get rid of you? Was that 100%. Yeah. Again, again, day. again. again. I look back at it, and I, I totally get it. Right. I totally get it. Oh, what did you do? Wait, how? How did you get blocked? I think because I tagged him in like a story or something. I was, oh, did you write like some bitter shit? No, no, no I didn't. Like I had didn't. my heart broken no, no, by a childhood yes, yes. hero today. <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote, I was like, Steve-O is canceled. He's Steve-o, an asshole. Steve-O, Steve, no. No, no, no. But I just posted like a normal ass story being like, saw Steve-O again, Gracie and Steve-O. On, I think it's still on my page. And, and then he was like, fuck and he this me. kid. This is, then, that's how much he hates. And then Tommy was like this because he went, I don't know if I told you, he went on, S, he went on SDR. And I said to Ralph, like, who runs SDR at the studio, I was like, would you have asked Steve-O why he blocked me? And he was right. like, I would have 100% asked him. Yeah. So if Steve-O ever does SDR again or anything on gas, you already know uh, we're going to get my You're answer. You're going to get him on Dope Dope and Dying. I'm like, yo, why did you block Dylan, bro? That's yeah. the only reason why we brought you here. And then lock the door. He asked to open up for me. He followed me <laughs> to New York. <laughs> oh, my God. What if he thought you followed me? What? What do you mean? You're asking me why I blocked a stalker. <laughs> so that's what it is. You think he thinks you're stalker? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And that's what also where like I tell the story. I'm like, I, it's hard not to be mad because also we do comedy now. Yeah. And well, like, you know, also you've heard I'm a lot like, thousand podcasts of people doing dumb shit like this, yeah, where you go dude, up to them and you expect I, like, more. You expected more than what he was willing to give. Dude, DC has my favorite story of all time of asking someone for anything. And I don't know if I, I want to save it for when. Oh, no, no, you gotta, You can't tease it. You have to say it. You got to say it. Nah, you can't just uh, tease it. Uh, yeah, you got to say it. And then, and, then, and then we'll bring uh, so DC we, back to yeah, defend we himself. Have to. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> so we have a good friend, DC Williams. He's all over my page. He's the uh, the token black guy on my page. Um, oh, Jesus. You didn't have to say that. What? <laughs> you didn't have to say that. Nobody knows that shit. What do you mean? Just, I mean you're, you're the token Hispanic? Yeah, I mean, Ken is on your page. Ken is on my page. Yeah. Ken is hilarious also. Okay. Dope fucking up and racist. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, no, no, no. But I uh, was just playing into the bit. Um, <laughs> DC Williams is a good friend of ours. Does comedy. Uh, funny ass guy. Yeah. Uh, but before, before stand up, worked everywhere in New York City. Yeah. He one time was telling me a story. He goes. What was he? Hmm? What was he? No, 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 no. Let me okay. save it. I know how to tell this story. Okay, okay, go ahead. This story is perfectly. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He goes, he's so he 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 meets um who does the the um the Late Show now? Um, the the um, African guy. African. No, 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 no. South African. South African kid. Trevor. Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah. He's in front of Trevor Noah. He meets Trevor Noah. DC Williams, brand new comic, meets Trevor Noah. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, and uh, I think he's in he's in like California at this time. He goes, Hey, what's up, man? Uh, I have this movie script, right? I get this movie script about this kid, right? That dropped out of college, got on a plane to chase his dream, and he moved to California. Like, you know, just literally every. And this is every, Trevor Noah sitting in front of him. At, Trevor Noah in front of him. Yeah. And um, what Trevor is Trevor doing? Trevor just goes, okay, all right, yeah, cool, man. And he goes, no, nah, man. So it's, it's it's like based on my own life. No shit, DC. Uh, it was based on my own life. Uh, so yeah, he moves to California, and no one wants to give him a chance. Yeah, and then, uh, <laughs> and then, and yeah. then, and then, yeah. So he's working real hard. No one wants to give him a chance, but he's trying to make it. He wants to be an actor and do all this shit. And uh, and I'm listening to the story, and I'm like, and I'm listening to this, and I'm like, going, no, why would you do this, DC? Why are you, why are you doing this? And I'm cringing. And I ask DC, I go, what? I go, what? What are you doing? He goes, oh, I'm working out. I'm working out. Um. I'm working at a hotel right now. I'm, I'm working at a hotel. I'm like, what? I'm like, so why are you telling all this? I'm like, what is, 
I'm like, what is Trevor doing? I'm like, he's like, oh, he's getting an omelet. I'm like, oh, I'm like, and what are you doing? He goes, oh, I'm making his omelet. <laughs> so fucking, all right, so. Great stuff. <laughs> Here's the thing, fuck it. <laughs> that's why I told you, that's why I tried to tell you the same way he was doing beforehand. Yeah, but <laughs> was the punchline that he was making an omelet? <laughs> <laughs> don't don't make that face. <laughs> I was just, I, you, you, come on, man. He did good. He, he did now he can't put the phone <laughs> back on. You guys can run the show. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I mean, yeah, that was. Uh, what else happened this week? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, but that is crazy though. That fucking he's in, he's he's just think 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 think. Have you ever have some... you ever done some stalker shit? Um, nah. To like a celebrity? Never. No. Never. No, I can't. I went up to Penn from Penn and Teller, and said, <laughs> "Hey man, you're real great." Once, <laughs> and I I wanted to murder myself for the rest of the night. <laughs> I swear to you, I was like, "Why did you fucking do that? Oh, you think I he did... fucking cares that you told him you think he's good." I did some dumb shit with uh uh Just Blaze. I was working for Red Bull. Uh. At their fucking okay, you were a promo. You were street team for Red Bull. I wish I was a street team Red Bull. Oh, okay. I was giving people Red Bull drinks. That's all I was doing. Oh. I was making Red Bull drinks. Okay, at Red Bull and fucking um, Just Blaze comes in and he's asking for a Red Bull. I'm like, hey man, I'm a big fan. And I was like, so who's better, Eminem or Jay Z? Okay, and he's just like, yeah, man, they're both really, really good. Mm. I was like, can I take a picture with you? <laughs> I take a picture with Just Blaze. He goes, this, uh, and I was like, so you really not going to tell me who's better than, who's better, Eminem or Jay-Z? He goes, they're equally the same. Can you, can I go now? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I deserve every, every bit of that. Mm. Every bit of that. That was great too, Kevin. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that. Man. See, we could both tell bad stories. Yeah, on see, everybody, can, you know? I, I, my turn. Go ahead, Josh. <laughs> I don't have any bad stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only have good ones for you. Oh man, yo, fuck it, Dylan. You're not gonna say anything? No, I'm waiting. I'm for waiting what? For, what are you waiting for? I'm just waiting for my time. You waiting for you, you waiting you, for something to say? Uh, oh, okay. I thought you were harboring uh, hey, animosity. Like you, animosity, like you did with our boy, Mister Irish. Would you ever? Would you ever like, like shoot people? <laughs> no. You would no. never shoot someone. I mean, in my attitude. Like, if you got, like, really upset, like, at the end of today, you felt really disrespected, and you <laughs> came to realize it was actually Kevin's fault. <laughs> no one wants to know the type of route I'd go. It would be, it's, it's, wow. a, it's a long... It's a dark, you have a dark, you have a dark it, route? It, it would be you like, do. It would be I like a tell. snake. I know, I, it would be like... The tears gone tall yeah, and wondering like, why. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. The morning rain clouds <laughs> up to this window. <laughs> and I can't stand it all. <laughs> and even if it's Kevin's fault, I'm gonna shoot Josh. <laughs> he keeps calling me his son, and it's not so and bad. It reminds me that my story's bad. <laughs> <And> my story's <laughs> bad. <laughs> this is Dope Up and Dying. <laughs> this is Dope Up and Dying, baby. I'm gonna take a, a, a bong rip. Hey, you I should everyone so else. fucking much. Yeah. Oh, Done. man, yo. Mm. The uh, wow. the Eminem version or the original? I know I've been looking through Ani the window. Just said she had the version on. Ani, I can't. We gotta get you on a mic at one point. I didn't know this was hot. Is it a hot mic? It's a moosh mic. Make it hot. Sorry, it's moosh mic. Let's go. The moosh mic. Okay. You moosh, you can that? you can talk for me. What's up, Dylan? You dating? Uh, yeah. 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 You got a girlfriend? Girlfriend? Yeah. Really? Like, mm-hmm. how serious? I mean, like, it's... Like, one-on-one, that's it? I mean, like, one-on-one. Like, like, exclusive. You're in an exclusive relationship? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. We're not having a private conversation, are mm-hmm. we? I mean, I, th- I think we're still on a show. Right? Yeah. Oh. No, it was, I was You like, want to talk off the mic? I mean, no, it was more like... Uh, I, Dude, I was like, mind your fucking business. Don't you fucking <laughs> dare talk about my lady no, I, like I that. I was like, I was wondering what path you were going down. Sorry. Does, does she b- have both a penis and a vagina? <laughs> Only a penis. Oh, okay. Only a penis. All right. And here I guess you're on Dope Up and Dying, uh, the podcast where Dylan's mom listens to, you just heard it here first. He likes trans girls. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You heard it here first. I don't live in Hell's Kitchen for any he, other reason. I mean, there's only one way to get trans women here. You better live in Hell's Kitchen. Mm. It's going to be a good time. Your father's not surprised. Uh, <laughs> my father's been mad every day. Um, I mean, you're 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 madly in love now. You're dating someone half your age. Well, they're all half your age. You're pretty right. old. Yeah, well, I'm um, a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. My girlfriend's coming back tonight. You know, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I've been sleeping so good for like a I 10 know. days. I, I swear know, to you. No one tells you that shit, man. That's I have a queen size bed. I've been sleeping in the entirety of the bed. That's why they make like My right hand touches the, the top right corner and my... Left foot touches the left <laughs> corner, and I sleep the entirety of the bed. <laughs> and I just know she's coming back tonight. I'm excited that she's coming back, but I just know I'm gonna be like, I fucking can't sleep. I can't sleep. The, I not being able to sleep ruined my relationship with my child's mother. You think so? Absolutely. It wasn't the cheating or the uh, no. Well, that the cheating the child, came. It wasn't. It wasn't the constant bashing of her personality. No, she bashed me. I know. Yo, tell, so Josh is Josh is a good guy. I should, I should say that he's a very good guy. Let's preface with and that. the problem is with Josh is if well, he I made sees, a preface. if hold on, hold on, if Josh sees um, someone being bullied or something happening to someone, he will step in. Can you tell her? Can you tell us what she used to call you, bro? She used to say that I was Josh's on the scene, man. <laughs> she had a theme song. Because anyway, because well, anything would go down in public. Like, look. If I'm on the subway, and this has happened multiple times, there's lunatics, and sometimes it's just a drunk person, and they'll pick on people. They'll pick on a woman or something. I'm not going to sit idly by. I'm not one of those people who just like watches some shit go down and records it on my phone. Yeah. I intervene. But by know? the way, we applaud those people that do. You fucking should you do, do a, that. That's, do... The, that's what hum, human beings should do. If oh, you no, see no, no, someone no. getting applaud abused. Applaud the person that's taking the video on their phone. That's, you applaud that person, too. No, because yes. that takes that's that's second brave. Listen, right <laughs> if you can't <laughs> if you can't do anything about it, you should definitely record. Record it. Like, if you a shit. bitch ass, just at least record <laughs> it. At least record it for entertainment and so we can get the perpetrator. Yeah. But I anyway, yeah. in my head, I'm like, no matter what goes down, a perfectly timed drop kick, we're good. I would love to see a perfectly timed drop kick. I I feel like like adrenaline. But a go- drop kick comes like adrenaline going like picture like me on the subway. Like a dude being like, hey, get over here. And I just like walk up there. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. Woo! Yeah, you know what would be great? Also, whether you hit him or you missed. I land <laughs> in front of the subway. <laughs> oh, you're talking Explode. about not even inside the train. You're talking about on the platform? Okay, inside the train might be a little tricky. I'm not one of those fucking dudes that like, <laughs> fucking at like. You never seen Showtime, bro? You got to get that kind of violence, bro. You know, you get. Showtime? I've seen Joker, but. You get into a fight by the subway, you're risking getting turned into a fucking a hot dog <laughs> or a sausage. You know, you heard about that. You know what that is, right? What? Oh, you so, know about so this? Every the- now and then, somebody will fall as a train is coming in, and they'll get caught between the train and the platform. And it'll twist them up <laughs> like a hot dog, like a fucking sausage. And you don't die. And you don't die right away. You go into shock, but your body is twisted up like a fucking sausage. And then they'll have the police come and an EMS, and they'll be like, hey... How you doing, Mr. Bratwurst? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, listen, um, people got to go to work, so we got to yeah, move this train. And when, we move, when they push the train back off the platform, you unravel the sausage and everything falls out and the person dies. But their conscience, and they'll, the police can talk to them, and they're Thanks, like, Josh, would you, you like to story. order something from Subway? <laughs> <laughs> what would you like your last meal to be? Yeah. Hot dog. Is that depressing you? Um, don't worry, bro. When you do it, you'll hit the train I, I, have, I mean, l- until I watched Soul, I had a whole thing of mortality, and then it's I didn't watch Soul again to get a, a go make a go away. I, mm. I listen. It was actually funny. I've only been on a train once when someone jumped in front of it, and I wish I could remember what they say because they don't say someone jumped in front of the train, but they do say something really funny. <laughs> They're like, "There's extra debris that we uh, oh, wow. encountered on uh, the way in." There's some schmutz on the train. <laughs> like, yeah, like they just say some <laughs> random shit. But I was with a girl I was dating at the very beginning of New York that uh, she lived in Florida. So she could not handle it. So for her, it was like her first trip to New York. Right. And like fourth subway ride, someone jumped in and like the lights were like flickering. They're like, please walk to the front so you can exit the train. And I was like, hey, babe, don't look that way. You know, anytime I'm late to a professional appointment, I tell, the, I tell the people someone jumped in front of the train. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing they can say to that. I'm like, you're not going to fucking believe it. Somebody jumped in front of my train. They're just, they don't even want it to like, oh, shit. All right. Yeah. Get here. Get here. I don't know. We're going to get it. Whenever the hot dog guy fucking unravels, I'll get there when he unravels. I do have this huge fear. Every time a train comes, I, I place myself on another side of a pillar subconsciously because I never always feel like some crazy dude just pick me out and be like, mm. I'm going to push him today. 
Yeah, I always got to, when the train fear. is coming, I have to turn around. That's my biggest fear. I, I found the sausage, man. No, 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 no. I don't want to watch gore. First of all, wait, do, uh, is there like an interview in the middle of it? Or is it, like, <laughs> does Fox 5 come through like, okay, do you have any last words? Why? No. I'll say you don't really see anything graphic other than him doing You spin me right round, baby, right round, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. There's people. I'm watching this. No, nope, turn I'm it off. I'm not watching this. Turn it off. I'm not looking at it. it look away. If you're like me, you can look away. If you're I like didn't me, love stuff eyes, like this. I'll, 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 I'll put you through it. We are, we are not watching. You're going to get PTSD again. We are Kevin. not watching. We are not watching. <laughs> Holy shit. Turn it off. Uh, yo, I Kevin never. Was asking for it. Hold on. I, Mr. Irish, I got to tell you something. I apologize for bringing this up. Holy shit. Honestly, Change I'm, the screen. Much funnier as a bit. Josh. I'm not looking. Dylan, Josh. You don't have to look. I didn't watch it. This TV I've never got lightheaded watching a video till right now. Mm. Uh, am I a German? And Kevin loves watching people get hurt, so that's how you know it's serious. <laughs> it's just fun. not truly oh, hurt. It's just we, like we found the line now. <laughs> that's that's the line. That shit. Uh, my heart. Uh, I'm. I got. I did ass. I jumped aside. My hands are cl clam. Look at this. My hands are clam. Don't fucking now. wipe it on me. Holy shit! I was not expecting to see that. Cause I, 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 <laughs> I didn't realize you pressed play. I just. I can't wait to start shoving him when we get by the train later. <laughs> That's going to be the best. <laughs> Ay, puto. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh, fuck. Did you just turn into, like, shit. George Lopez? <laughs> yeah. It's my old Oh, ego. shit, man. Why? Why do we have to? Why did we see that? If you're going to kill yourself, how are you doing it, Dylan? And are you taking anybody with you? Is there anybody <laughs> in this room? <laughs> That's a great. It's, not like, it's a great question because it's like, again, I don't have, I have a thing with death. Mm. So it's like, in my sleep peacefully. <laughs> so what do you mean? You, you want to die? In your, you want to die in your sleep peacefully? I don't. I don't want to. Like, like you want to take a lot of bitch ass remarks. <laughs> it, man. it is. You go out. Bro, and fuck you want to take some pills or some shit? I guess. I don't know, bro. I don't. I, I don't think you understand. Like, one, I don't want to mess up this perfect face. So guns are out of the way. Yeah, guns out. But you can shoot right. yourself in the back of the head. Well, let me tell you this. Well, on the side oh, of the head. I, let me tell you. Every now and then, people miss and they blow their whole fucking. There was this girl. She, I don't, she either put a shotgun or like a handgun under her chin and she went to blow her head off yeah. and she instead just blew her entire Does face off. Does this mean off. that I don't yeah. like the topic? Is that and she lived like? and it was just nothing but yeah. like like mush like this and she survived. They gave her a face uh, a transplant? transplant recently. Oh, shit. What Play the video for Kevin real quick. <laughs> <laughs> we have it right no, here. It was so brutal. Wait, and, she... And the, she was a beautiful young lady, Ooh. like beautiful. She just, she had a, you know, bout with depression and if you're going to kill yourself, do it right. Like, just, you know, jump off a building or something. That's a guarantee. <laughs> We're not cats. We're not going to survive past five floors. Okay, Dylan? <laughs> just some advice. <laughs> Three floors and then we well, have don't to, kill yourself. Then we like have to push see, you around yeah, I mean, in a, you. in a chair you. for the rest of our lives. Listen, if, 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 I had, if I had to kill myself, it would be by, a, by gas. Kind of like this second video. Look at that segue. Um, sorry, I, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't like death. Okay. Not a fan. That's all right. Buddy. That's fine, but you gotta explore that shit. I do. Yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta go gotta towards what shit. you fear. You gotta go towards what you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you see that reaper coming, you shake his hand. Female reproductive organs and death. Ah, uh, you can play this. Tell me, tell me if you guys, how you feel about this. What? I just ran really sad. Is this a snuff film? Is <laughs> <laughs> a fart by? What was that? Hello? <laughs> what did he do? He farted in the in the basement window? How did he know? How That's did he know his kind of fart? Funny. How did he know his fart was gonna make that noise? Yeah. Uh, he said in the That's beginning, he goes, I thought I had a silent fart. And I he just, didn't think he had a silent fart. And I just fart. wanted to fart in this person's window. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't silent. See. I think anytime you put your butt cheeks in that position, it's not gonna come out silent. Yeah. It's not coming out silent. That's a That's a nice thing about living in the suburbs. <laughs> you can just, you can just do fart buys. <laughs> fart buy? You can't do that in New York City. You'll get fucking. What's the grossest thing that happened stabbed. to you as like a kid? You ever like, like a, well, I, like, I mean, my old brother never farted on me, but it was like, he one time broke a window on my face. He broke what? a window in your face? What do you mean? How do you break a window? Yeah. You mean he what do you mean? Took your face through he a window? A no, he broke a window. He gr he took a window and smashed it on your face. See, no, no, see now you, you smashed you, your face into a window. Like he has an all misunderstanding. 
Okay. How are we misunderstanding this? There's only two ways to do that. Listen. You're a bird. You you flew into the wind, bro. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. I, I don't ask for much. I there has to be a fan. I just want to. I, I need. I need a video of my oh, face on a bird <laughs> ramming into a fucking window <laughs> full speed. Please, please. That's all I want. Um, no, I was a well, kid. You know what the beak's gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was a kid, and I was like making faces in the window. My brother and my sister were like tapping, like batting in the window, and I was on the other side, like the outside. And I pushed my face up against it, and my brother went bam, and it just broke. <laughs> And it just broke. So you push your face through a window. Yeah, yeah. No, my I'm on the other side. Oh, he tapped the window when he it broke. He broke a window with his hand. On my face. Wow. This is your brother. This is your brother with scleroderma. Uh, yeah, he he didn't get a scleroderma until he was like way older. Okay. He was other guy. He was a big football boy back in the day. Right. So. uh Okay. That's my story. That's my second so attempt. At least, at least he did something with his youth. <laughs> 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 Beat my ass. That's true. He did beat my ass. You ever get stitches when you were younger? I got so many stitches. I broke yeah. my head open four times. What was the youngest? You, four you, times. Four times in the head. Uh-huh. One time in the chin. One time in the eyebrow right here, if you can see it. Wait, what you, got, you got the eye, You got the boxer scar? I do. My kid got that. What'd you do to him? Let me tell you something. I know what you did I was to going, me. I, was, I know what you did to me? What'd you do to him? I told you if you say anything, I'll kill your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I was going through you know, the separation with my kid's mother at the time, and she had... Was I supposed to flinch? What the hell was that? <laughs> no, was, that was you hitting your kid. You're going no, hit my kid. I would, I would never hit my kid. Anymore. I kept doing front flips. I kept breaking my head open. You think after the third front flip of breaking my head open, I would just stop? Nope. Nah. Committed you were. Committed. I was going to land that front flip. I'll tell you right now. Ask me to do a front flip on flat ground. I can't. Mm. It was worth nothing. It was, worth, it was all worth nothing. Appreciate your commitment. <laughs> <laughs> So she, I hadn't seen my kid for like 10, 12 days because we were fighting for custody at the time. Okay. And I had finally, you know, the court was like, hey, you better like let him see his kid. And she lets me see my kid. And I take him to the park. And you know those uh, circular slides that they have in the park? You know, it's like a metal half tube. So he decides to walk up yeah. the circular slide. And he had his little cute little Ray-Bans on. He's like five years old. And he falls forward. And the Ray-Bans give him a boxer's cut right on his eye. And I just, he stands up, and he's fine. He's just like, hey, Dad. And I just see blood <laughs> dripping down his face. And I'm like, I'm fighting for custody now. <laughs> this is the worst thing that could ever happen. I'm fucked. And it's right across the street from a police precinct. And I'm like, oh, please help. Oh, my, my child. You call the police. They just take you in. I had to call his mother. I'm like, um, so you know how you kept my kid from me for two weeks? Uh, just chopped his head open by accident. But he was a fucking, he was a soldier. We got to the, to the emergency room. He sat there. No local anesthetic. They fucking sewed him up. And I had gone through the same exact thing when I was his age. I have a scar right here in the middle of my forehead. And I have a vivid memory of it. I was perfectly fine with it. I cracked my head open when I was a little kid, five years old. I was perfectly fine until we got to the ER. When you're a little kid, they strap you down. I don't know if you know this. So they have these, like, Velcro fucking straps. Fucking hot. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking hot. If you uh, <laughs> find that hot in the comments, hit up Dylan. Yeah, up. it's WW Dylan slash. Oh, by the way, the tied up part, not the kids part. Just put that out. No, everyone thought it was the tied up part. Yeah, okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. To, everyone thought it was the tied up part. I to but I'm glad you clarified. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. Right. That was very cool that you clarified because, 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 you, because you very said, interesting, like, Dylan. You said, "Get to Chris me Hansen, the, come on out real quick." You said, "Get to me in the comments," and I was like, "Is this? Does he want me?" Why don't you stay in your seat? <laughs> Take a uh, seat. Just take a seat. Just take a seat. 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 <laughs> yeah. My no. my life goal is that Chris Hansen becomes a pedophile. Oh wait, why was that your my, life, my life goal. goal? Your my life goal? You want to you want to be molested by Chris Hansen? You want to have children molested by Chris Hansen? Yes. I'm gonna make my children into Jeez. the most oh. perfect super soldiers. Okay. You want to bait Chris Hansen with your with your offspring? <laughs> um, yeah, they're gonna be the most. Why don't you have a seat, <laughs> <laughs> dude? Come on, you can't tell me that wouldn't feel great. Chris Hansen becomes a pedophile. That- it's your kid. He walks into your house and you walk in the door. Go and you're just wearing your 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 the suit from your sister's wedding two years ago. Dylan, it doesn't really fit, but it's all good enough. Yeah. You just walk in and go. And he goes, "No, don't say." Dixie. <laughs> Some D- people shouldn't Dylan, reproduce. <laughs> Dylan, I think that's attempted pedophilia. 
right there. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I think it is, y'all. I, I never, I just made that charge up. That doesn't exist until right now. You just did that. I, I, I made a new charge. You made a new charge, bro. Pre-crime. Pre-crime. Yeah. Pre-crime. <laughs> That's what I also call... Uh, <laughs> when you come on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Premature crime elation. That's, that's when you jerk off before you do a bad, a bad thing. Crime. Wow. Crime. Jesus, you're getting darker and darker, man. What? That's not... Okay. Do you, wait, have, wait, you, do you, you ever <laughs> dance in front of a mirror with your penis stuck between <laughs> your legs and say, I'll do me? I totally do me. <laughs> <coughs> Dill is the only guy I know who uh, has post nut clarity and decides to do bad things. I've never heard that before. <laughs> no. I mean, I'll just come. Ah, I gotta fuck up more people. <laughs> I gotta see more fights. All right. Kevin. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Carry the show. <laughs> Please. God damn it. I'm no, bombing. no, we're doing well, buddy. Just you don't I'm bombing. You're no, you're no, you're well. good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're dude. Good. You're doing fantastic, bro. As good as I can. Like, huh? It's as good as I can, you know. Um my hair is I, I tried to cut my own. Yo, hair. you sound a very Jared Swartz right now. What's up? Ba? Oh, Dylan, yeah. Take it. Yeah, hand, man. Buddy. Come on. I think it's Kate. You're amongst friends. Oh. It's okay that you have those horrible thoughts about the future. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all be thinking about death? I'm sorry. Death really does I didn't that re- to you. Oh, hold on, no, 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 no. Uh, that's fucking interesting. Yeah, we should. Delve. This is it. Really got you down. So what the fuck happened to you yeah. with death? Yeah. What are you afraid of? Everything. Let me ask you a question. I don't know. I, I thought about dying the other day, and for the is first it because life is so good. You're like, ah, I can't fucking die, yo. This is pretty awesome. I'm like, yo, being white is too. Is that even about being white? Yo, I, like, oh, I already hit like I cashed out. Right. Jewish. I right. run the world. Right. Yeah. You're like, I, um, I've, I've reincarnated enough times that I've finally made it. Oh, this might be your last uh, life as a man. Your next life might be as a woman. Yeah. What if I'm transgender? Huh? <laughs> so what if I'm transgender? Uh, <laughs> you think... <laughs> <laughs> what if I'm both? Um, no, I don't... I don't know. I don't think anything... I mean, there's a couple of times in my life, I guess I can't... I don't think I came close to death, but it was like... I don't feel like I feel like the. Normal. Well, what's your fear? Your fear is what? Yeah, you're your you're dead, and then what? What do you think? Like, what would be the worst case scenario to you? Um, having more to do. Oh, you don't want there to be another side of it. You're like, oh, I got to go back and do this all over again. Is that what you mean? No, like I, I want, I want to like my biggest fear. Oh, is, like, that you di- didn't accomplish what you wanted to. Yeah. Before you die. I guess like it's literally like that's if, if you want to really know why I, oh, I work so hard is because of that. It's because I'm scared of like dying in a year and not having right. anything. Hey man, belt. hey man, when you get serious, right, and you do vocal fry, it turns me off. So chill. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when I, uh, when I start to think about dying, well, I, uh, uh, <laughs> I start to think about my when death. I think about death. When I think about their accomplishments. Maybe I should be more serious I, on the I thought about dying the other Maybe day. Maybe I should be more serious on the podcast. I thought, I thought about dying the other day, I was and I was laying in my bed, and I was about to fall asleep, and the perception of dying was that I was in the room, and I had no physical body, and it scared the Bet. shit out of me. Thank you. you oh, know, like, uh, like I was... Where where my body was, I was out of my body, and like the body wasn't there, but my soul was there. Okay, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like being in this room right now without having a physical presence, and mm. it was it freaked me the fuck out. Damn, son. Yeah, bro. I should try doing that as a kid. I think people's the biggest fear people have is that they're dead and then that's it, and then there's nothing. That's the biggest fear. Is I that mean, you're like, dead and then there's zero. I mean, it's also I also don't think I mean it's also the way I die. Scares me because, like, you know, sometimes I, th- I look at like a car accident, like something traumatic, like that. Uh, that always, like, like that's when you show like the, the train video. Like, also, imagine like you die for like some stupid reason. Like, what if me and you were fucking around and like shoving and pushing? Like, not obviously, we would never shove yeah, and push each other. We're not fucking 14, but like, it's just like, what if we die from like some stupid ass reason? I think about like, I've been on like jet, time. I've been on like jet skis with friends. And gone into like closing. Have you been? Have you been diagnosed with bitch acidness? <laughs> Why? You know, you know, you know, a fuck, why are you scared of dying, bro? Not, how, how do you fear something that you know absolutely nothing about? Is Ani? I can't hear. I don't Ani? think your mic is on. Yeah. No, it's not on. But Dylan did need to hear that anyway. Um. Fuck. Hold on. So. 
You, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I just, I don't understand that. Are you fear. not scared of death? No, at I'm all. Not scared of death. No. Never been scared. No, of death. I should have been dead many, many times in my life. That's what I'm saying. That's also. Uh, that's what I'm way. saying. Is because I've have said that. You've said that to me. You go. I go. Why do you go into the? What's the army corp? You went infantry. into infantry. Like if people don't explain what kind of it is. The infantry is the people that go bang bang. Yeah, the people on the front lines. And yeah. I asked Kevin, I go, why would you ever do that to yourself? And you say, I, I say, because, well, people told me I was supposed to have been dead. Exactly. Right? Like, when I was a kid, they didn't say about me. Well, tell me. Hold on. What, they, they wouldn't say it about me. They'll say, they'll say, a lot of people in your neighborhood won't make it past 25. And it's like, motherfucker, I live in this neighborhood. I'm 10. You know? I, like, so I, didn't, like, I didn't have when that. When you say like, shit like that. Yeah. If, yeah. It, but and you and you go past 23, 24, now I'm like, well, I'm supposed to die. Yeah, but Kevin, let's, be let's dead. have you even discussed this? You got to predate all that. Kevin is an abortion survivor. Exactly. Oh, that's also true. I, I, so Kevin, I, Kevin I had a sibling that. who was who was aborted, and the mo- his mother didn't know there was another fetus in there, and then this guy fell out of her. <laughs> and she was like, throw this shit down the toilet, and he wouldn't fit because it was Dominican Republic. They didn't have good flushing there. <laughs> and they wrapped him up in a newspaper. <laughs> no water in the toilet. They stuck water. him in a fucking crate of pineapples, and they shipped him to America. You're making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you know that thing you do when there's like, years of it, years of it's like you can, if you get a bucket of water, you can put it into a toilet, and it forces it to flush? Right. They kept doing that to Kevin. But they just, <laughs> but they just ended up washing him and showering That was his him. baptism. Yeah, they were like, fuck, <laughs> now he's all clean. He's now we bat- have to keep Wow, Dylan just said you were baptized in a toilet. <laughs> See? <laughs> and, and I was going to let you convert to what? Judaism Everything? until you got that stupid I, tattoo. <laughs> I, did, I did get a tattoo with Kevin. Did you get matching tattoos? Yes. No, we didn't. Yeah. On your ball sack? Yeah. Oh, he got it on his ball sack. I got it on my tank. Oh, okay. Because it touches. Seam to taint. Like, you know, like, it's like his little gooch spot, and then it's on the yeah. front of my pouch. Yeah. So they collide. Again, you got to commit, right? <laughs> you gotta, me, me and Dylan scissor those tattoos. <laughs> I want to look him in the face when I do shit. <laughs> Doped up in Dykin? <laughs> <laughs> Doped up in Dykin. Yo, speaking of Dykin, I'm just glad you brought Dykin up. Yo, okay. I have uh, Dylan. I've been saying this for too long. I love rap music, and I love southern rap music from like the early 2000s. What the fuck is the deal with the rappers and loving dykes? Because last time I checked, Google it for me, please. A dyke is a chick that has clothes like that looks like a man, that, that yeah. acts like a man, that almost is a man, right? But likes dick and is a girl, but is one of the homies. The, one of the no, best. A, a, that's a, a dyke is a, a, a dyke. derogatory word for a lesbian, no? No. no. Right. I, well, well, where, where I'm from, a dyke was. Maybe it is derog- uh, a derogatory term, but we, move it over I didn't know that. I thought a dyke was just a guy, uh, a girl who was a lesbian who wanted to a, a be long, a man. What? <laughs> uh, a long wall or embankment built to prevent flooding from the sea. Isn't dyke spelled it, with a Y? Well, this if you were paying attention on the computer, it was a very variation oh. spelling of that. Oh. Um, you got to go to uh, Urban, go to Dictionary. Urban Dictionary. Yeah. yeah, this is. I didn't know that. There one. we go. Dylan the Great. I just, <laughs> it's, just uh, it's just a picture of me. <laughs> um, wow, zoom in. A uh, word used well, lesbian originally. No, it's not. It's been reclaimed by many lesbians who might use it identifies as something. Yeah, how dare the internet think it knows more than yeah. You know? Come on, man. I know Dylan's from th- Florida. I always assumed that they were just referencing bi chicks when they were talking because they take both. I don't know. That was how uh, I. Well, took I guess that now lyric. we we own up. We well, own. They all mean the different rappers. things, probably in different yeah. areas. That was, that was me taking. Uh, listen, I uh, listen. I, I I I listen. I'll take being wrong, but Kevin was under the same assumption as I was because, like, the early two thousand, like this. They don't want lesbian chicks. It's like you would see all the little Wayne music Well, I videos. remember Biggie going, giving dicks to dykes. Mm. Okay, Biggie did say one of the craziest lines I've ever heard, and that's, you know. Yeah, you look it? so good. I suck, suck on your, your daddy's, daddy's dick. dick. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Guys, are like, that's pretty. But also. Have you ever seen? Actually, you know what? I'm taking it back. Actually. Yo, yo that's Dylan. One, that's the most progressive line That is a progressive line. Music. It's so progressive. That's the first progressive it's line It's so progressive. And, and then the next one's like, and then I cradle his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Did it? While I'm sucking the holes. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know why I said that. That was the Mr. Biggie's <laughs> yeah, lyric. <I> <laughs> 
<laughs> Those are on the lost tapes right there, buddy. Yeah. Um, uh, the girl's just waiting uh, outside, like, where's Biggie? She's uh-huh, just uh-huh. having sex with well, her fucking dad. Your dad. Fucking your dad. Fucking your, pops fucking your dad. In the bathroom. <laughs> she asked me where I'm at. Fucking your dad. Give me the booty. Give me the booty. <laughs> <laughs> I like ball, ball sack. <laughs> 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 fucking. That line is, is progressive, though. It it's is so progressive. progressive. We want everybody on Doped Up and Dying. When the world opens back up, we see a hot girl at a ball. The thing was you big... go up to that girl, you be like, yo, girl, you look so good. Oh, I suck, I suck on your, your daddy, daddy dick. <laughs> but Biggie was so hard. And that I he... want you to tape that and then send it to us. Thank you. Yeah, but say it like without inflection. It's like, you look so nice. I would, I would suck on your dad's dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I? Can I? Can I, up, it's straight can I give you that phrase? phrase? Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, can I blow your father if you got around? Dylan, uh, I'm gonna change my Tinder bio to like I only want girls that look so good. I, I suck on your daddy's, daddy's day. I'm gonna do that today. <laughs> I'm gonna do that today. You're gonna, you're gonna be getting a lot of pronouns, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be getting a progressive crowd. Yo, yo, when when you are, when you guys are on dating apps because you guys are both in relationships, um, do you guys remember? Do you guys run into guys who just are on the um? That you can see, they, they would just say they're a woman. But they, they're, they're but they, they but, designated. Huh? Is it a guy or is it a woman? It's a who, dude. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about just a straight up strand. dude. Just a straight up dude, but yeah. not accidentally. And it's not accidental, right? Have you? Have and you what does it? Me? No, it's what? so crazy because I, I want to interview one of these. You get guys. interest. You get interesting things that would pop up. No, they're lo- they're looking. They're like the they're like the James Charles of like Tinder. They're looking for like <laughs> switch hitters. <laughs> Is that a sports reference? No, James. You don't know who James Charles is. No, who's that? He's the uh, the makeup artist the, the, who, the, the who fucks one. little boys, or who he tries to flirt with little boys. Is that is that true? It was. It was, a, right? it was a makeup reference into a sports reference. Never been done. Oh, the, the YouTube. The guy. YouTube guy. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But right. yo, I, you know, I said this in a lot of other. It's really podcasts. good with makeup, though. <laughs> really good with makeup. <laughs> really good with makeup. <laughs> <laughs> you think he remains a billionaire? Do you think uh, you? Oh, has YouTube? Let me. Look, can we look up if YouTube has uh, uh, taken away his uh, channel? No, he still has his channel. 100%. He still has it. No, that, that's not going anywhere. I can't hear you. Okay, that's fine. Um, no, he definitely still, probably still has a channel. James Charles is is doing fine. I mean, listen, Dylan, you sound like you want to work with him one day. <laughs> I, I, I might, I might, I might get. Are you gonna by use James. him? Are you gonna use him to train your kids to catch Chris Hansen? <laughs> Pretty, pretty <laughs> said, I'm, I'm, I am, I am announcing here on Dope Up and Dying with uh, Josh Pallet. Josh Pallet enforce, uh, endorses it. Uh, <laughs> I don't endorse anything. <laughs> you do. um, you are, you don't fucking put my steel of approval we're, on we're anything. James Charles <laughs> to train Josh Pallet. That's kid. anti-Jewish, bro. Uh, d- don't bring my fucking kid up. <laughs> it's not a good idea. <laughs> not for me. I, I'm fine with it. He'll kill you though. <laughs> <laughs> my kid will kick his your brother, ass. His kid is. A, Yo, I love Josh. Has his. No, I'm gonna say bit. But Josh is this thing where he'll call his kid, or his kid calls him, and we'll be in the, like we'll, we'll literally be going to a show, and Josh will just be like, "Guys, watch this, watch this." What's up, buddy? And how you talk? He was, "What do we call Kevin?" We call him a puto. Yeah. It's not- <laughs> well, you know, one of the best when Kevin first met me, I think my kid was like just five years old, and one of the first times Kevin called me, I gave the phone to my kid, and I was like, I told my kid, I was like, just repeat everything I said. And he picks up and he's like, hello? Hey, and I, hello? And I go, tell him, tell him. I don't know what's going hey, on. Hey, what's your dad? He's, 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 on the, he's, on, he's on the floor and he's making weird noises. What? He's, he's starting to smell. You should probably, <laughs> you should probably say something. straight face. Straight face. His kid did not break at all. He didn't laugh. He yeah, didn't like, I got, what did you say? He didn't do any of that yeah, shit. I got, hey, buddy, hey, buddy. Tell him, tell him. Tell him what? Tell him. My dad's friend said to ruin this bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know what you wanted me to tell him. I was playing you. Oh. Um, that was pretty accurate. Mm-hmm. I was a douchebag. That's how I know. Thank you. I am a douchebag, Dylan. A little bit. And you know what? So are you. Mm-hmm. A and secret one, though. It's, no, you're not, not a secret one. You're not a secret douchebag. You're I, a douchebag. I think you think it's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> I think you think no one knows that you're a douchebag. Nah, no one you knows. You need to claim it, bro. I mean, I do. I like it. I, I tell Kevin. I'm why do like, you think I dress like this? I'm really, I'm a, I'm a fan of who you actually are, Dylan. 
I think when you're accurately who you are as yourself, you're very, very funny and very, very douchebaggy. And I think the world needs more of that. Thank you. Uh, fuck you. Uh, Fucking why? That's a real statement. No, that's that's the pro that's the proper douchebag response. What's up, Ben? I feel like you got something to say, Ben. You all right? I'm good. Okay, okay. Um, how uh, what time are we at? I just want to know. We're at one hour. All right, cool. Um, can we play that my 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 clip, Joey, the one that you that I sent you? I love this clip. You know how I feel about uh, clips of motherfuckers fighting, and uh, in the streets. My biggest, my, my I love. If God wanted to bless me every year, he would just let me witness a random street fight. I love those. Those are the best. They make me laugh. Because no one knows how to fucking fight. And it's always, you never know what's going to happen. And then, and then it's always like, well, how did these two start fighting? Why did they start fighting? I don't get it. Would you like the longer clip? You'd like the longer. I'd like the longer clip. What do you mean? Like what? instigated it. Oh, yes. Yeah. I love the longer clip. That's why the second I you love, see anything, you got to just turn your phone that's, on. That's why. why do you, oh, what'd you say? Oh. Josh, why do you think what? that I, in on this podcast, I'm doped up and dying, right. Sunday morning smoke show. Yes. I, congra- I give my thanks and I'm so appreciative of people who just pull out their phones. Okay? Right. Something's about to happen. Yes. And the world needs to witness this shit. Right. If it's you can't intervene, awesome. record it. Yes. Right. So this fight, if you go... Uh, press play right here. Okay. What do you guys see? <laughs> I see two, two, two super lightweights. Two super lightweights. What do you, what do you notice hit. about a guy who's really lightweight? This is my kid training for um, Chris Hansen. Oh, he's got... Oh, he's got, what is he's kids? got a hand and a half. <laughs> he has a hand and a half. He's got a hand and a half. Wow. No. He's guarding with it. You got a jab. You got a jab with the poke. But here's the thing. He's not only guarding with it. That's the p- he's also throwing it sometimes. Ooh. Wow. Look yeah, at that. yeah, he's yeah. With the yeah. Ooh. Ah. He knocked him down with the fucking. Yo, dog. he hit him with the funny bone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you get punched in the face with a nub. Yeah, man. You're not allowed back on these streets, bro. Wow. Yeah. And that's good for early dating, too, with a girl. <laughs> Yo. You think you I think that was, Johnny do you, th- do you think he still do you think he still has like a funny bone though? <laughs> yeah, he, he at, got, at your elbow, he, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah at your elbow. Yeah, that's what he's got. He's got he's up to elbow. He's at it up to here and elbows. <laughs> Look at that, but he catches him at the end. Uh, so what do you think happened? Uh, uh, that kid definitely made fun of his arm, no? Yeah. Well, speaking of uh, hand deformities, you remember? No, I, you're I, right. I, if he doesn't make fun of the arm, he guards with it. If you make fun of the arm, I'm gonna show you what the arm can do. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, boy. Yeah, sleep on the arm. Sleep on that arm. Sleep on that nub. They, sleep on that nub. They call me Slubby. <laughs> Suck a sleep on that up. I said something. I love. Listen, how great is that? And then do you hear the children laughing in the background. What about what I said to that comic the other day? Oh my goodness! So, we're speaking of hand deformities. Speaking of hand deformities, I'm. We're, sometimes you do these uh, shows or these mics, and it's just boring. It's the same shit over and over and over again. People saying the same shit over and over again. And this kid goes up, and he has like a half an arm. It's right? not. It, it's palsied. It's like oh, it's curled it up. It's yeah. like a you know when they put like um, the shrimp inside of the boiling water, and then it curls up. <laughs> that kinda, was his arm. It's kind of like that. So he does his he does his bit he does his set or whatever and then Josh goes up there and Josh goes, uh, I don't want to say his name. No, I don't say his name. He goes, go, he goes, hey man, what do you? I go, you ever fist somebody with that? Thing? <laughs> <laughs> you ever stick your curled up little nub? Dylan is checked out, man. He wants to get the fuck out of here, yo. He's like, yo, this podcast is is done right here. We're gonna be like history hyenas. This is never happening again. I, ne- I never said that at all. Um, Dylan, I think Dylan's a little checked out. I, I didn't check out. I was listening to the story. I was thinking about uh, Nubs being uh, uh, fisted. Nubs, yo, that has to be a great. That has to be a category. In porn, There's definitely right? a porn on Pornhub of nubby people. <laughs> I one, okay, one time I'm gonna end on this. This is Nub bang. disgusting. No, <laughs> I, I saw I saw a gif Nub of bang. this and I was like, that's really interesting. It was a, 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 a woman being fisted with, but on like her she was like, that's why I do this. Okay, but on top in the same hole was a dick. So she, he's getting jerked off. Right while he's banging. That's a gigantic vagina. Did she just give birth? <laughs> Kevin came out too. nine months later. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're, you're, you were describing Kevin's abortion. 
<laughs> Yo, my sister died in that. You had a rough oh, start, God man. You got the You guys are twins. They're like, oh, all right, we got, we got it. We got we the, got we got the one. We got most of it. <laughs> Kevin has, has Kevin has a little scar over here. He's like, sorry, it's my sister. Yeah, it's a bump gotta, on the back gotta, of his head. I gotta shave that down. <laughs> I mean, that, that's gotta be a mind fuck to survive an abortion. Wow. Well, <laughs> my brother just because I didn't know right until I was like an adult. I was like twenty two when I found out. Really? Found out. Yeah, because wow. I was I'm adopted, bro. So like, you don't find out. Hey, Kevin. By the way, you survived an abortion. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some food. Do you want anything? <laughs> was that your Dominican accent? <laughs> yeah, that's not what happened. They had they had Kevin's sister in a cigar box, <laughs> <laughs> and on Kevin's birthday, they're like, "Hey, Kevin, <laughs> do you want to say a happy birthday to your sister you never met? We be keeping her in this cigar for you." <laughs> Show it. He carries it around. It's in his little pouch right now. Hey, yo, this is Doped Up and Dying, the Sunday morning smoke show. My name is Kevin Sanchez. You can find me on Instagram at It's Kevin Sanchez, on Twitter at It's Kevin Sanchez. I, w- 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 what did you say your name was yesterday? Uh, the Sanchez. I'm the Sanchez, the Sanchito. That shit's fire. I said the like dos 14 dos times dos head, the Sanchez. The I Sanchez. like it. Um, my man, Sergeant Hackshaw, uh, used to call me that. Really? In the Army? Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah. Guys, my name is Dylan J. Negri. You know where to find me, at Dylan J. Negri. This is Dope Up and Dying. Josh Pallet. Joshua Pallet at Joshua Pallet. Peace. <laughs>